considering you had quite a bad experience, what sort of advice would you give to people looking to install a heat pump in their home? Well, you have to look at the company, go down and see what they've got to offer um, and see what their backup is. You want a company that will back up what they say. So I got fed up with having to get quotes for oil. So I've decided, and we had a discussion, my wife and I had a discussion and said, right, I'd like to go environmentally friendly. I want to go away from fossil fuel. So I decided to look at uh, heat pumps, which looked quite inviting. Uh, so then I went down that road of, um, you know, getting heat pumps bought into the house. One of the companies um, I chose was uh, a, a company based in uh, Colchester um, who, you know, looked pretty good on the surface of things. And, uh, you know, we, I, I'm suspicious in the, in the long run, thinking, well, I don't want to be done. Uh, so I, I went into their company, had a look at what was going on, had a very good reputation. The company is very large. And so we went with them, which was a very big mistake. These heat pumps failed continuously uh, to the extent that I think I knew more about the heat pumps than the companies that installed them. Um, we had even um, one of their experts from Austria, he came over three times uh, to see if he could rectify the problem. Um, and in the end, he shook his head and, and said, no, I'm going. And he just walked out and left. And, and that was it. We didn't have any heating in the house for close on six years. And uh, my, my wife was in hospital. Um, when she came out of hospital, we had to have all electric uh, systems. We had both, uh, we've, fortunately enough, we've got open fires. Uh, we had open fires going continually, day and night, uh, to keep the house warm because she's just coming out of hospital. Um, and they didn't want to know. They don't care. And so, you know, and their legal team says, well, it's not, their, not really their problem. I listened to uh, BBC Essex and they had the CEO from uh, CB Heating. Uh, he was on there and I was listening to so I'm thinking, hmm, it's worth a punt. I'll give them a ring. So I gave the sales team a ring and I chatted to them for about 10, 15 minutes. And they said, there was only one way to come down and have a look at what we've got to offer. And they invited us down. Yes, and from there, uh, that's when I met uh, Clayton and he came in and asked what was the story. I told him and he was horrified and he says, well, I'm determined to get units into your place and working and a backup service, which, you know, I must admit has been fantastic. We're isolated here. We went down to, I think, close on minus 12 with the winds coming across the valley um, and we didn't have a problem. I mean, as I, uh, you know, I said, there's ice forms on the uh, unit at the front, uh, uh, fins of the unit, nothing, no problems at all. It just runs and runs. Not like before when we had cold spells um, and it would just cut out. The old ones used to just cut out when it got cold. Worked perfectly in the summer, the old ones, but you know, these ones, been absolutely tremendous uh, throughout the winter. We've thoroughly enjoyed them.